Hello everyone and now welcome, welcome to a game between Happy versus Foggy. This is a second game in this series and well, we'll see what these players have in store for us today. We are on Last Refuge. Alright, Last... Yeah, Last Refuge. Okay, the, was the previous game on was on Concealed Hill? I think I got my, my names, my map names mixed up for a little bit. Yeah, anyways, Last Refuge, here we are. Yeah, I think that was like an, like almost 45 minutes ago. I, I think I messed up nap, map names. Well, only those on YouTube will recognize it now, maybe. I don't know. Is this game too... This is the second game I'm going to be casting. Uh, I don't, um, in this series, I don't want to say if this is game two or not, as that might, well, reveal some information. Hey, Crab Turtle, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Just enjoying some Warcraft 3 here as Happy opening up with the Death Knight going up against a Keeper of the Grove. All right, Keeper of the Grove off over here. We are looking at an Ancient of War and pretty much... When when I try to close my when I close my eyes and I imagine casting a Warcraft three game, I if I say okay it's Foggy versus Foggy versus Happy here on Last Refuge, uh, Happy is going to be opening up with the Crypt and the Altar of Darkness. Ziggurat going to be opening up with a Death Knight. Foggy has placed out an Ancient of War um, a little bit away. Going to be doing some Ancient of War Archer creeping. The Keeper of the Grove is going to pop on out here in just a second. Summon up, maybe summon up some Trents and then try and move its way on out. Getting up to level 2 and then trying to put some pressure onto the Death Knight. Death Knight during this time is going to try and, well, get to, get to level 2, get that Unholy Aura movement speed advantage, but... And there, that's that's pretty much where the game starts to deviate. Whether or not Foggy is able to get enough pressure onto the Death Knight and prevent him to get to level two, it does open up his creeping um, or his creep denial abilities. We are looking at Happy trying to retreat back here with this acolyte. There's some trends there. Are we training up more um, units? No, we are not. That Ancient of War actually down to 517 hit points, and we're going to now go after this Ogre Magi creep camp instead. More Treants are getting added in here. Um, it looks as though this acolyte going to get taken down. Finally getting taken out. Trents are trying to back away, trying to absorb a bit of damage. And Foggy clearing out this 533 creep camp just with some summons. And, well, figuring this out. Is the Ogre Magi going to get taken out? Yes, it will. Death Knight comes in with the steel. Keeper of the Grove gets the item, but Death Knight gets the experience. Level 2, allowing him for Unholy Aura to catch up to that archer rather easily. Out of the gate, Death Knight and taking a bit of an advantage over the Keeper of the Grove and Foggy as, well, things are already seemingly going a bit sideways for Foggy's strategy. Teching the Tier 2 should already be well underway. Foggy is there. Same thing with Happy right behind. Keeper of the Grove wants to try and disrupt as much uh, as much creeping as possible, steal a little bit of experience and return the favor, but is unable to do that so far. All right, we're looking at more damage coming in. That ghoul just running in. And this is a, a beautiful use of line of sight by Happy. This narrow pathway walkway right here, it is easy to hide some units, preventing that Keeper of the Grove from getting in that damage. You saw that Keeper of the Grove constantly trying to launch an attack, and it would launch an attack only or, or start to launch an attack only to see that ghoul run in from around the corner and then that keeper of the grove would break mid animation all right murloc nightcrawler gonna get finished off gauntlets of ogre strength plus three picked up death knight shows up and says you know what how much more harassment can i do to you right here right now trance getting in some damage onto those units we're looking at a tide hunter getting taken down as the death knight still just sticking around, trying to uh, trying to well, initialize some sort of pressure here as the Death Knight take or denying uh, some of those some of those uh, well of those skeletal minions too. Let's come back down to the south. Mass Ghoul is going to finish off this creep camp down to the south here. This may give level three to the Death Knight. And a sudden um, increase in level to the Death Knight um, could mean the death of an archer if, if well, 
Foggy is simply just not ready for it. Death Knight sitting 8 experience shy of level 3. Looks as though the ghouls are going to finish off that Ogre Magi. Death Knight going to level up right here. Are we going to see Dust of Appearance? There's a quick Wisp kill there. Denying the, the setup for that Tree of Life. And Happy will not have to deal with an expansion um, just quite yet. Happy still sticking around. Has enough for one more Death Coil. Many of the archers have Shadow Melded. You're going to take them, look around once again. Death Knight trying to make its way back back away from the attack. Head back off to the north. And while rounding that corner once more, Death Coil stealing that trapper. Is he going to do it? Yes, he is. Takes that last bit of experience away. But now Death Coil, uh, Death Knight down to 75 hit points. Able to get back on, well, get back home. Pick up some items and now, well, try and and regenerate those hit points we are at halls of the dead slaughterhouse is getting added in obsidian statues will be trained up here in just a moment lich also here as well well potion of mana used here as wait canceling a player's forces are under attack. canceling the slaughterhouse and re it looked like that was on purpose but was the positioning uh, wrong in a way where the obsidian statue could have been the could have been trapped well, we'll have to keep a closer eye there. That does delay the Obsidian Statue by about 15 to 20 seconds. And as I've said before, well, Warcraft 3 and real-time strategy games are, are games of seconds. It's a game of time. Um, any player can build, uh, build the perfect army given enough time, right? But what you're trying to do is you're trying to do it faster and faster and more efficiently than your opponent and perhaps harassing them at the same time. Acolytes, gonna go ahead and set up an expansion here. Nerubian Tower is already well underway, or, or gonna be set up there. Ziggurat first, followed by Nerubian Tower to make it difficult to well, take down that haunted gold mine. Tree of Life, well, three quarters of the way done. Demon Hunter Illusion quickly getting surrounded and trapped. Demon Hunter back across here, getting a mana burn onto that Death Knight. Death Knight going to find a Death Coil onto a low hit point Archer as it attempts to retreat back again. Uh, Demon Hunter unable to outrun that Death Knight. Death Knight, however, able to slip through the trees right there. And there's a couple of illusions while preventing any easy surrounds. Archers of Happy able to just constantly put pressure or archers of uh, archers getting pressured by Happy. And we're going to be looking at three additional dead archers here in just a second. There goes one. And well, no, not getting finished off here. Not quite sure why a 38 hit point archer is is still well free to attack easily. A skeletal minion now going back after it. And it looks like, yes, that skeletal minion is going to do the job. All right. Retreat back or retreat towards your opponent's base. Not quite sure if I agree with this here as Foggy is taking quite a bit of damage. Death Coil should be inbound from that Death Knight. Hopefully this camera zooms back out here in just a second as the Lich does not have enough mana, not enough for Frost Nova, and the units will be <clears throat> regrouping here in just a moment. Forces are under attack. Illusions all across the map. True Shot Aura, Tech to Tier 3 nearly done. Meanwhile, here we are still at Halls of the Dead for Happy Expansion. No gold mine as of yet as the Keeper of the Grove does have to deal with a Nerubian Tower replenishment potion here and no Obsidian Statues still after all of this time. I did mention that that delay in the Obsidian Statue could cause quite a bit of problems and that does definitely seem to be the case. All right, Slaughterhouse finally trading up that first Obsidian Statue and getting up a second Crypt for perhaps more Gargoyles and Ghouls. Treants are trying to take down the haunted gold mine before it can get up and running. That is not going to be happening at all. And Happy is using this middle stage or yeah, middle stage timing extremely well. Um, being able to set up an expansion on, on his own. Potion of Replenishment now being used by the Death Knight to get up additional mana. Also getting more mana from that Obsidian Statue as well. Um, Obsidian Statue, well, trying to make something happen or prolong this game here as the Treants are going to, well, put pressure back uh, on the other side of this haunted gold mine. All right, level two Treants trying to put pressure on the gold mine here. Gargoyles and Ghouls able to easily clean this up as the Lich is getting some free experience. 
and getting to level two. Death Knight now sitting at level four, faster movement speed on top of everything there. Happy sitting on 47 supply as the Keeper of the Grove of Foggy realizes, you know what, I can no longer use this particular strategy. As Foggy retreats, he's transitioning into, well, he's already at Tree of Eternity. He doesn't have that much lumber. He he is harvesting a, a fair amount of gold, and we are getting up some Ancient Protectors as well. Demon Hunter now clearing out some Ogre Magis, um, and Ogre Warriors, and Ogre Magis too. But the Demon Hunter does not have that Orb of Venom and takes quite a bit of damage it, during this time here. Are we going to perhaps see a Potion, yeah, potion of or Scroll of Town Portal being used? Here, so a, li a little bit of a desperate scenario. No staff of preservation to save that demon hunter, as I originally thought, and and that should have definitely been the case. Are we also going to be getting, or well, there is a scroll of town portal and an orb of venom and that staff of preservation. Foggy had a large amount of gold and ended up having to burn a scroll of town portal because he didn't have that staff of preservation earlier. All right, yeah, gargoyle. I I did not expect Happy to be playing uh, playing gargoyles. To be honest, gargoyles did not seem like um, it was in Happy's repertoire at all. It was I was expecting um, I was expecting ghouls and abominations. So Happy um, changing it up his own way as a necropolis is going to get taken down here. Death Knight shows up. Death Coil straight up onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is still only sitting at level two. Mana burns are not going to be nearly as effective. Thank you for the follow as the Demon Hunter now makes its way back off to the north. Ancient of Wars are positioned all across the map here. Where are they going to be going next? Demon Hunter now trying to back up. Um, and well, I don't know if, if the, the feeling, the impression that I am getting right now is that Keeper of the Grove and Demon Hunter are not going to be able to withstand fog, um, withstand the, the Death Knight and the Lich of Happy. Happy is, is just has more map awareness, map presence, his mobility with those gargoyles. Um, really something to be seen and now and now that we see a level three lich in addition to a level four death knight the lich is going to easily get some frost novas off and perhaps burst down the the demon or the keeper of the grove or the demon hunter all right what is this cheeky play here foggy going to be taking down this particular creep camp right underneath um happy's nose this creep camp and is right outside his base. It's going to get cleared up. And Foggy may actually feel that he is coming out ahead here, stealing his opponent's creeps, not realizing that Happy is actually clearing out a red creep camp and picking up Endurance or making his army just that much faster. That is going to be, um, well, rather scary indeed as well as the units are still just wandering around. One, come on, one forest draw high priest attack who could have finished that off, gotten a little bit more experience. Mountain Giants rushing on in. Fo Foggy doing the same strategy as he did in game number one, trying to take down all of these buildings and taking down the expansion again. If at first you don't succeed with brute force, consider you're not using enough as Foggy is now coming back in with multiple Mountain Giants sitting at 50 or sitting at 66 supply. There are a lot of gargoyles in the air though, no orbs of venom on that keeper of the grove and no real way to add in damage onto those gargoyles no panda and that is the surprise here if this is another game in this matchup i would have expected to see a panda be used keeper of the grove finally being using a scroll town portal is a mountain giant gonna get stuck left behind multiple mountain giants left behind foggy leaving behind three mountain giants and that i bet is not what he expected all right, two mountain giants trying to retreat back again. We are looking at perhaps a Frost Nova in order to slow things down here. Dryads are showing back up to the party to try to get a little bit of slow poison going. But do they realize that, wait, there's gargoyles here that could easily focus them down too. Another mountain giant going to be lost. And Foggy at 62 supply, losing another mountain giant in this scenario. Really not what he was hoping for. Treants trying to finish off this Haunted Goldmine before the Haunted Goldmine gets up and running. Haunted Goldmine taking a bit of damage, for forcing a cancellation again. As we see a battle here, one Mountain Giant, Keeper of the Grove, Mana Burn onto that Death Knight. Death Knight seeing that level 4 as we see what Wand of Wind picking up that Lich. Gargoyles are right there, Demon Hunter trying to finish off some more units. There's another good Mana Burn. 
and a small victory by Foggy here, taking down the gold mine, but losing a handful of those mountain giants. Nope, Staff of Preservation does save one. All right, Keeper of the Grove trying to retrieve back here. Demon Hunter trying to retrieve as well. Mountain Giant looking to back up again. Did the Acolyte surround the Mountain Giant? Yes, it did. Acolyte surrounded the Mountain Giant. I, mountain Giants, look at that face. He's just like, oh, look at that Acolyte that's surrounding me. I can't, I can't step on you. Yeah, Mountain Giant, you can just like walk over that unit so easily. Coming back around, Demon Hunter, Keeper of the Grove, looking to clear out the remainder of the Ogre, or this Ogre Magi, Ogre Mauler Creep Camp that's close to the base here. Can I have no problem whatsoever? Um, one of the win being dropped down, Ogre Mauler going to get taken out and followed by that Forest Troll High Priest as Keeper of the Grove and the Demon Hunter will both be shy, or will be shy of level 4. Mountain Giant would step... Would step on them. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably would step on them in, in Reforged. Anyways, Death Knight now making its way back over here. Ancient Protector trying to offer a bit of... Pro well, uh, trying to offer protection to this expansion. But still not quite enough here. As Frost Nova's quickly remove the Repairing Wisp. Dryads need to get together. And the strength of the Gargoyles is that they are able to stack up on top of each other. Thereby moving as one giant ball able to deal a lot of damage. Yes, Dryads fight very well against those units. But it, it may not be enough here as the Keeper of the Grove is looking to fight back. We are looking at Rejuvenation. Dryads are falling and Gargoyles are falling as the Druids of the Claw trying to retreat back. All right, more damage getting added back here. Death Knight finally being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal to retreat. Another Gargoyle getting taken out. 54 supply compared to 66. A ghoul runs on by, asked what I miss, what I miss. And, well, apparently he missed his ride home. Happy sitting at 52 supply compared to 59 supply now on the other side. Mountain Giant getting taken out. And well, this is just continuing to feed the Death Knight and that Lich. Are we going to be getting level 3 Frost Nova in addition to a, a level 3 Death Quail? Being able to burst down those units. Death Knight should not be anywhere nearby if that Lich wants that experience. And yes, it will be backing away. Why not go for Red Camp right after DKTP? It seemed like it would be a free camp. Um, well, the time it the the time it takes to well off over here. Yeah, I guess he could have gone for that Red Red Creep Camp in, instead, or tried to shut down the Haunted Goldmine. We're looking at the damage coming across here. Death Knight, Keeper of the Grove, Lich, Mana Burn back once more. Bears are in this battle. Gargoyles are here. No Breath of Fire to deal with the Gargoyles either, or with the um, Ghouls. And that perhaps is the issue there. You need some a uh, some decent AOE damage for this massive, wide, wide army as one destroyer does end up getting taken down. 63 supply compared to 52. Happy using those gargoyles pretty effectively, but Foggy still with the supply advantage should be um, could be able to really push on through here. But a lot of scrolls of healing being used by Happy as well to try and mitigate that too. All right, destroyer down to 200 hit points before the death quails goes ahead and saves it once more. 600 hit point heals working all day. Keeper of the Grove, Squirrel Town Portal, going to try and retreat back out. Ancient of War, not going to be able to get the ticket to ride um, ticket to ride on that Squirrel of Town Portal back home. But where are all of the units running? All right, Mountain Giant attempting to run away. And, well, will how far will it really be able to get? That is the question. Ghouls with Ghoul Frenzy moving relatively fast as that Mountain Giant goes back off to the north. Death Knight comes down here, picks up an item. Lich is, in fact, now at level 5. And where are all of the units? Well, wow, a lot of Druids of the Claw low on hit points being able to be rejuvenated back. And this might be the exact advantage that Foggy needed to get back into this game. We need to be looking at a re rejuvenation. Come on, rejuvenate yourself. You're, you're down to 267 hit points. A rejuvenation would be useful, and then, well, turning into the bear now, will you actually get back up to full? He could have stayed as a druid for maybe five seconds and then started walking. Um, then he would have been able to get back up to full hit points, or would it? Is it enough? Nope. Missing seventy hit points. All right, ancient protectors making their way over.
Demon Hunter, Keeper of the Grove, sitting at level 4, level 3, going up against a Death Knight and a Lich. Lich with some, well, crazy items, plus 21 damage. As we're looking at a Death Coil, Frost Nova onto that Demon Hunter, forcing them already pull, to push back here. Ancient Protector already getting taken out, and that was supposed to be a great line in the sand to help protect against those Gargoyles, but those Gargoyles just able to deal so much damage in mass numbers, even against that fortified armor. Mountain Giants looking to back up again. 79 supply compared to 67. Army sizes are relatively similar. Um, but then again, there should be a decent number of... Actually, no, there's no ghouls on Lumber except for one right now. So, so far, Happy has been able to use these ghouls and then just harvest a decent amount of Lumber. And then when the battle finally takes place, bring all of his ghouls off of Lumber to try and make up and recover. Over here on the top left at the red expansion of Last Refuge, we are seeing this expansion, well, this base be taken here. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus three. Demon Hunter picks up a Cloak of Flames. Keeper of the Grove doesn't have any additional items. Tome of Intelligence going to be left behind as the Gargoyle is going to try and engage here. All right. The, the lines are not clearly drawn as of yet. Death Knight, no mana. Oh, mana burn onto that Death Knight. Death Coils are going to be limited. Are we going to see a Staff of Preservations? No Staff of Preservation on the first bear. Second bear, are we going to see one? No, it does not look like it's foggy. Losing bears um, pretty quickly and easily <coughs> as three bears go down. Level 6 now on the Death Knight. Level 3 Endurance Aura or Unholy Aura, most likely underway. Death Coil onto the Keeper of the Grove. The Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability just a little bit late. He could have actually tried to double back through the army as that would have put him in a better position than where he is right now, taking so much damage. All right, Scroll of Town Portal in order to get away. If he had just used that Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability to move back through, that would have been a better spot. Instead, he's kind of split up his between the Keeper of the Grove and that Demon Hunter. All right, weird spot to be in. Keeper of the Grove going to go ahead and rejuvenate once more. Happy could have easily, easily taken out this army here as a number of bears and the Keeper of the Grove was away from the fight. Wisp now being transferred over from the main base. Tree of Eternity going to stay rooted in order to have Staff of Preservation be useful, but losing 12 supply and so easily and giving additional experience to the, the undead heroes could not have been Foggy's plan. Gargoyle is once more pushing across here. Death Knight getting in a Death Cloud. There's a Staff of Preservation saving one Druid of the Claw. Another Staff of Preservation could be in order, perhaps to try and save one Mountain Giant. 70 supply compared to 63. Armies are battling it out so far. 54 versus 53 supply armies. Pretty close. Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter now just trying to perhaps mana burn or go after some of those units. Another 92 point mana burn as we're looking at the engagement still go down. All right, Demon Hunter could be in trouble. Down to 187 hit points, taking a little bit of damage. Death Knight, well, does have a Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability. Keeper of the Grove falls coil and that should be the game happy now with the supply advantage and with two hero kills underneath his belt any bit of experience or any unit killed by foggy doesn't give experience and that is pretty much going to be the end of it the mountain giants is perhaps trying to win and um, just take down the heroes to do something but this should be the end. Happy perhaps just waiting for the GG, but not letting up until Foggy finally shows it. Um, well played. Yeah, good game. Well played. Just written all over the board. And there it is right there. Happy taking down Foggy um, here on Last Refuge. Use of Mountain Giants um, uh, um, and use of Gargoyles by Happy. A bit of a surprise. Um, Foggy was able to t stop the expansion, but really wasn't able to stop Happy's overall gameplay. Happy's use of gargoyles and his just a map awareness, his his high mobility, using them almost like mutilists in StarCraft and StarCraft 2, um, seemingly being everywhere on the map at once and being able to pick off units. Um, time and time again, Happy's micro does come into play. You can see the resource score being such a big difference, but Happy getting those kills, getting more experience, able to make up for it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.